everyone welcome to figure fantasy so we are going to be featuring rimuru today um gonna be going over um a lot of things with him um there have been a lot of questions wh what his build is what types of um, you know gears do you or parts do you need to equip him so let's start off with um, an overview of his skills first uh, so, that, so that you could have um, more or less an idea on how um, his uh, kit works. So as for attack, it's usually basic. Um, Demon Lord Slash attacks an enemy, starts from the first enemy in the line, same line. Attack speed is fast, so pretty good. Boost damage or basic attacks by 25% and another 25% at level 3. Then uh, off to his uh, ultimate. So it's Megiddo. Initial energy is 60. Uh, attacks the target and the adjacent enemies. And uh, deals damage uh, one additional time for each other unit hit. While also dealing 30% increased damage to poison targets. So for you to maximize him, really have to bring poisoned units like uh, Chow Chow and, um, and mill him. So... Uh, Milim is really a nice compliment to him. Upgrade effect for an upgrade this one to level 2. The current target will be devoured for the first time. And the ultimate is unleashed, stunning them for 1 second and granting Rimuru either Black Flame or Black Thunder. So we'll go to that later. At level 3, if you want to update this skill, the unit hit by ultimate will be devoured. will get a devour buff for 8 seconds if they die before the duration ends gain black flame or black thunder and get healed so definitely he has a healing he has healing for himself and a star demon lord enhances the ultimate boost ultimate power by five percent and inflicts devour upon enemy surrounded by uh, units for eight seconds when they appear besides the first ultimate each subsequent has an n a 40% chance to devour the current target and stun for one second. Okay, guys, for his passive, we have here Gluttony. So the first basic attack on each different enemy will stun them for one second, devouring a range enemy with will grant Black Thunder, so which lasts until the next time the ultimate is unleashed, and devouring a melee enemy will grant Black Flame for eight seconds. So I'll explain both of them later. The upgrade effect of the passive is level 2. Gain an additional 20 energy when devouring a ranged enemy. Gain 25% bonus, bonus attack speed for 8 seconds when devouring a melee enemy. And level 3 restores own health after devouring a target. So definitely has two ways of health restoration. Um, the explanation of Black Thunder and Bla uh, Black Flame is here. So Black Thunder is a basic attack. Becomes ranged when unleashing the ultimate. There is a 60% chance to trigger a large amount of damage to every target. This effect can be stacked and each stack boosts damage of Black Thunder. Black Flame is basic attacks have a 40% chance to trigger large amounts of damage. This effect can be stacked as well. Um, each stack bonus uh, boosts the damage of Black Flame, while Black Flame status boosts a basic attack power against poison units by forty percent. So another boost to your um, to your uh, poisoned uh, enemies. And last is going to be his um, special, which is boost damage uh, chance by fifteen percent and restores health after each successful dodge. Level 2 boost attack by 5% and defense by 10 and boost dodge chance by 20%. So that is his um, skills, guys. Okay, so let's move on to um, the strengths and weaknesses of this guy. So uh, basically good attack, good defense as well. So if uh, you want to improve him more um his weakness probably would be his health he, it, it it actually rapidly drops especially he's in the front especially if he's ganged up so health would be a good consideration for you guys to upgrade as his weakness um move, moving on to his parts so for her for the parts um, there are only two recommendations that I'm going to give you. Um, either you, for the four-piece set, either you put in lifesteal 
or you put in um, here. Uh, we put in ultimate power. So two options. If you want to make him more um, tankier, lifesteal is actually good. If you want him to be kind of a glass cannon, ultimate set would be good. So those are the things that I you could go for for the four piece set. So for me, I'm going with um, lifesteal. I wanna you know I wanna make him a kind of bit tankier, uh, but I think I have to change this the defensive set. Um, I can actually change this to HP. I don't know if I have HP here, so I have HP here. So you can actually change this to HP set. Then this one is going to be HP as well. But you could actually, the, the two-piece set, you could actually opt for either defense or you could opt for um, HP. So uh, lower, as you can see there, lower, what do you call this? Lower stats for HP. That is why I am going to bring back the defensive set that I put in here. So just going to be contented with defense for now. So either HP or defense for the two-piece set. Okay, guys. So what else? Just going to have to finish this and equip. So that's it for his badge. So for the badge, um, if you want to make him more a tank here again, which is what my build is, um, Eternal Glory badge should be good. Absorbs lethal damage once, gains a shield, and... Uh, uh, and equal to 564 attack and restores 12 energy when absorbing lethal damage. You could also use um, end time ultimate badge. If you want to give more power to his ultimate, this is, I think, one of the best that you could equip him. And this is easier to enhance. You could enhance this up to level 14. And this would be good already. So again, um, I'm going to go back to what I have. Um, really want to make him tankier rather than a, you know, a glass cannon. So that is it for the badge. Those are the two options that you have. Either Eternal Glory badge or your End Time Ultimate badge, which is purple. The last but not the least is uh, definitely you should get is uh, if you want, you know, more more value from him, especially if you're going all the way in summoning Milim, might as well get this badge and enhances, uh, not the badge, it's a dormant, enhances um, the ultimate boost, ultimate power by 5% and inflicts Devour upon every summon unit for 8 seconds when they appear beside the first ultimate. Each subsequent ultimate has an N40% chance to devour the current target and stun for one second so this is his um his um exclusive adornment you can actually get this by the way in sweet adventure you have the option uh, once you set foot on 100 you could actually avail of this already so here um this will available either 100 140 and 180 you can actually choose either of these three so i chose the the adornment on the first one so you can get that there i think uh, this should be part of his kit uh what else guys if you're not really interested in that type of adornment you can actually go with uh, let's see here marble store adornment store the other one that you can probably go with is this one. Uh, no, he's not a Vanguard. So this is the only one that um, you could actually go with uh, with him. But I would suggest getting that exclusive one, which which I think much better for um, for Rimuru at this point. So let's try to. Why is the parts here? Quick equip. Okay, so that is it for his adornment. Team composition. Um, I think, to be honest, Let's Red composition could really... Uh, needs really a vanguard. So Let's Red team is going to be... You know, benefit... Or is going to benefit from, from Rimuru. 
The um the other one that I think um is going to be very good for him is pairing him with Chow Chow as well. So if you have Chow Chow in your lineup, you could actually just um, put him in because because Chow Chow enhances his damage. Also mill him if you get mill him. So again, poison team. He's going to be there definitely. Um, as for our content which content he is good so definitely in the adventure he will help you in the stages clear um also in the big three if you look at if you look at this one in terms of the lineup here so he could deal additional the adjacent damage but again he's more beneficial in other stages but he can do lots of damage here as well Let's move um, back to to final battle. So also here in Azazel. So definitely, I I tried to put him in the middle. Um, again, you you need Milim here or you need Chow Chow here to complement him because again, damage for him is going to you know. Um, be bigger if there are poison and also again poison really welks uh sorry really helps in mob stages so if you want to try this out so just want to give this a few rounds so that we have a, a little bit of a sample on how big is his adjacent damage and what uh, area he covers so so normally for the first few rounds he's going to be good he needs a tweak guys um this build um at this point uh, especially for this stage needs a tweak uh especially uh, the tweak that i mean is not necessarily on the kit of rimuru but more on the other the other figures that he is with and also his placement so for now he Kind of very good. This this build of mine is built for Frozen team. I just uh, put him here just to showcase how or how big the damage he he has um, in terms of in terms of also the scope or so uh, six. Let's try to see if um, he could pull only three because the others were not fixed in the back. So and also this one is actually. Um, inching forward so definitely he's only only going to hit uh, three but uh, if he moves forward and gets towards this spot then he probably could hit six so that's how good he is in terms of aoe damage um just have to make sure he survives uh, a lot of onslaught at this point so as you can see he goes down again probably gonna change something and also going to be tweaking the team comp for this one. And also the people <laughs> right behind him. The other one that you can explore in terms of these team builds would be... Um, uh, Irens. Embers to back him up. So Irens could also be... In terms of team composition, Irens, Embers could also back him up. This girl. Um, for more survivability, definitely going to be good at the back of Rimuru. So that is it, guys, for content. Um, he's going to be good, but uh, in terms of damage, the, the only question is if you can support him well in terms of survivability. Okay, so as for my final thoughts for this guy... Well, great damage for clustered opponents or yeah, clustered opponents. Definitely you need to position him well where he can deal a lot of damage. You need really to address how he survives, especially for the, you know, the 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 further stages. He could be good in he could be good in 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 the early end game, but in the further end game, um still have to test him. Um he really needs a lot of compliments in terms of units. Again, he needs Milim, he needs Chow Chow, he needs Irens um, to survive. And there are two builds for him. Glass Cannon, which is uh, very much very high in Ultimate. And the other build is 
basically defensive survivability to clear stages and clear mobs basically the defensive would be clearing mobs the the what do you call this the um, glass cannon built with high aoe would definitely be good in here in your story stages especially if if this one has a lot of let's say if there are five and there, there it's not a wave then definitely he'd be good there so again uh, prepare for two builds for Rimuru. Um, you'll have to make a lot of investment for him and, again, investment on the team that he has. Okay, so again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully I was able to help you in his build composition. Again, for his parts, a lot of options here. Just have to, I actually just have to make sure that he survives well and probably tweak some of the secondary bonuses here. So as you can see, attack and crit. This one, HP bonus, defense crit, crit damage. And this one is only crit. I still have to enhance it. This one also attack bonus. So again, he has to be enhanced further. Um, and this one should be enhanced further as well for you to basically reap the rewards of using this guy so anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully you have gotten some tips on how to build rimuru now and future builds and alternate builds and um thank you guys again if you're here please consider subscribing take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here